My name is Ralph Mosca. I'm the Chief of the Division of Pediatric and Adult Congenital Cardiac Surgery here at NYU Langone Medical Center. I see patients of all ages, mostly newborns and children, but anyone with congenital heart disease. And congenital heart disease is basically any structural heart disease that the patient is born with. So it can be absence of parts of the heart, um, absence of vessels, or any malformation of the heart that you could think of. The parents get involved at many different levels. The typical scenario is a mother will come to me with a fetus, a baby who's been diagnosed with congenital heart disease. That's a situation in which we have a lot of time, most often, to discuss what's going on with the baby and what the potential outcomes and interventions will be after the baby's born. So I get to meet the families a lot of time, months before I actually have to operate on, on the children. In addition, we also obviously care for parents around the time of their surgery. And I tell them that's the most stressful four or five hours of their life because they're entrusting us to take care of their baby and they really have no control over what's happening. I mean, if someone comes up to you and says that the baby has congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries and we're gonna do a double switch repair, that's true, but it doesn't help you very much. Uh, I think if you sit down with some photos and show the parents, listen, this is what the problem is. The ventricles are inverted. Um, it's a complicated solution, but this is what we've done in the past and the, and the results are the following. Um, and the good news is that the survival rate from all congenital heart disease now, when taken in aggregate, is about 95 to 98%. At NYU Langone Medical Center, we've worked very hard to create a culture of pediatric cardiac care. The children uh, are taken care of from the moment they come into the hospital by child life specialists who understand the anxiety that kids are going through, uh, both in diagnosis and also in their treatment. They're there for them to explain what's going on uh, with the condition. And if they're old enough to understand, obviously some of these, a lot of these patients are babies, so we have to actually educate the families, the parents. But when the children are old enough to understand, uh, we give them pictures and videos and sit down with them and discuss exactly what we're doing. To take care of kids with heart disease, you need to have a culture of care. The nurses, the doctors, the intensivists, the surgeons, the anesthesiologists, the entire group of people caring for them need to understand congenital heart disease. And when you put people in an area where they do that day in and day out, they get good at it. And I think that's the, the key.